Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find and how to open SQL Server Configuration Manager on a Windows PC. It can be quite tricky to find, so I'm going to show you how to find it and how to create a shortcut to it if you need to open it quite often. And just like all my other videos, I've got a little timeline below so you can jump to which section you want. And if you're unsure one bit, you can quickly jump back to the start of that as well. Now I've got a few other videos on my channel, so please subscribe for me. And if you've got any questions or any feedback, let me know below. And if it helps you, hit like for me. And most of all, just enjoy the video. The easiest way to open SQL Server Configuration Manager is to go down to here and type in Computer Management. Open that. And down here under Services and Applications, you'll see it here. We can expand it, select it, and we've got SQL Server Services and all your all this stuff in there. So I can open this. I can enable Always On if I want to. Any startup parameters and trace flags if I wanted. And that's the easiest and quickest way to open SQL Server Configuration Manager. The other way, which is a really nice way to do it. The other way, if I go to, I'll go here and type in SQL Server MSC. My first link here, I can go here to see which version I'm on. So I know that I'm on SQL Server 2019, so I'll be using SQL Server 15. But if you're unsure which version you are, you can open up a new query, type select version, and it will just return that for you down here and tell you SQL Server 2019. So in this case, I'm going to take this, put that in my search, and this brings me up to this here. And I can open that, and I've got SQL Server Configuration Manager. Now, if you expect to use this quite a bit, and you're, and you're practicing quite a lot, and you're studying at home, then I would recommend right clicking there, and before you open it, right click, open your file location, and it takes you to System32. Right click on the file, send to, and create shortcut. So if we close this down, you can see I've got my shortcut here. I can open that. And that brings it out, brings it open. I can rename it. Hey presto. So that is how you open SQL Server configuration manager on a Windows 10 machine.